Okay, <laughs> so we're here at our uh, long-awaited Hag Hag Nebu uh, meeting. We waited and waited and waited about over two months for this meeting, and Master Prison told us uh, a week ago or so. Uh, no, it was less than that because I had already left Connecticut. Um, he told us that we needed to. We were going on a field trip, two field trips, and so we had to like be here at a certain place, at a certain time, like in certain clothes and whatever. So we had all these theories, theories flying up the wazoo, right, about where we were going. Some of them were totally ludicrous, like, we're going into the woods and we're going to learn how to camouflage ourselves and kick people in the face and <laughs> kill people and whatever. But clearly that, that wasn't the situation. So we're driving and driving and driving. It actually wasn't that far, but we're driving. <laughs> And we pull into like into this plaza, and suddenly it dawned on on us. Oh, we're at Sensei Gardner's Aikido school, Kokikai of Rochester, and so that was such a pleasant surprise. I was like so grateful for this opportunity to go and learn Aikido with not only Mr. Gardner, who I haven't seen in a long time, but with all my fellow classmates. So that was really exciting. It was a nice and pleasant surprise and it was actually kind of cool because there was supposed to be this big, I don't know, wilderness survival weekend which is something else that Master Pearson is involved in as well as he does it alongside with colleagues with uh, Mr. Gardner and it was kind of a shame because the weekend got cancelled and they didn't get to do that but it was sort of a blessing in disguise because we got to study with both of them which was really nice. So we went and we worked really hard for about an hour and we got to use some weapons, which was cool and none of us had done that before in an Aikido setting. Um, met some really intelligent, really fantastic um, students from his school who had offered some nice insight in terms of our practice and, and it was a wonderful day. What? <laughs> like, oh yeah, maybe that does sound now. kind of weird now that we're I don't think it's that weird. Well, no, it's not that weird, and if you were able to fully communicate it to someone, it wouldn't seem that weird. Just most people are in, like, the most non-martial arts people are so much of the non-martial arts mind that when you tell them about something martial arts that you do, they just don't have a way to appreciate it. And it's true of anything, like, you know, if we, you know, if, like, we are something that maybe, like, you know, a super lab chemist person does. I mean, it's like a, it's a, a different culture when you're just in something really deep. Right. You know, and if, if you're not in something as deep as that other person, you're just naturally not going to be able to appreciate it unless you have... But that's their problem. <laughs> well, they don't get it. I mean, like, there's only so much I can do, right. you know, and at a certain point I have to stop caring what they think. Well, yeah, and, you know, anyone who has a very, um, who has a, a, a varied experience is going to have a better... Uh, is going to have a higher ability to be able to appreciate other people's lives. So I think, you know, the more monotone someone's own life is, the less they're going to be able to kind of like, right. you know, look at things from a different standpoint. And the truth is, like, compared to our lives, at least within martial arts, most people's lives are pretty monotone. Yeah. We're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we're awesome, but also because we do interesting stuff and a lot of people don't mm -hmm. things that don't seem um normal for the you know average person well because it's not because they aren't exposed to that type of thing right. just like anything else right. i think another huge part of it though is that a lot of the things that we do are informed from an asian cultural perspective oh, yeah. so it's not even just that we're martial artists who live in america but like you know we like we adopt you know, certain Asian customs as part of our practice. Right, right. But, like, to, you know, uh, you know, an average American w Westerner, they might be like, oh, like, that's really weird. Why do you bow? And So you're saying you I need more Asian friends? Well, because to, to, to a Japanese person, like, 90% of the, the stuff that everyone weird. else thinks yeah. is weird, they're just like, oh, of course you do that. Right. Like, of course you do all these things and you, know, you, you respect your, your teacher that way and you have this r relationship with your students. Like, that's just normal. Like, right. but then in America it's like, why are you doing that, you know? <laughs> right, totally. Yeah. 
Okay, so anyway, moving on. Similar to the things we do in, in Taekwondo, uh, like the thing where we were, you know, standing with our partners and holding the staff, and then, you know, either push or pull, and then, you know, based on how our, you know, how we got them to react, we would do, like, one throw or another. I thought that that was cool, you know, applicable. Um, you know, there are a couple of the stick exercises, you know, I, like, uh, I guess I just need to learn more about about them to figure out how to practically use them, but, you know, for, m like, most of the, the weapon stuff we did, I really liked. Yeah, Nikita. something also that was, I thought, was beneficial. I mean, it, at first, didn't really make sense to me, but then when I started thinking about it, it did. Um, we were doing a lot of things almost slow, like, at first. Yeah. Or just, like, you know, really focusing on that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, like, maybe it wouldn't be that practical at first, but then I just thought, well, in an actual combat situation, you would be, after so much rehearsal and practice, you would just do that, you'd be able to do that fast. And it would be right. like second nature, and then it would act, It would be a lot more successful. Right, just, yeah, the, the same reason why we're supposed to practice our forms yeah. all the time, so it just gets ingrained into, yeah, you know, our kinesthetic subconscious.